smell expensive, make a statement and perfumes that are bold. So I wanted to share that with you. I've got all these fragrances from my collection that I'm going to share. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Thank you so much for joining today. Please consider subscribing and joining my lovely family here. I would love to have you on board. The perfumes that I have today are all my perfumes that smell expensive, smells like luxury, and it smells like there was a heavy price tag linked to these fragrances. So I'm going to show you these in no particular order, but these are my most expensive smelling fragrances. And you just want to smell unique and, and expensive, then these are the fragrances for you. So I'm going to show you what I have. So starting off with my very first perfume, this beautiful fragrance here that I have, this is the EDP version, and this fragrance is beautiful. I receive, this is a compliment getter. This is a bold fragrance. This perfume will cut through any crowded room. People will ask you exactly what are you wearing because it's a beautiful fragrance. And I'll briefly go through some of the notes with you. Now, this fragrance has notes of pink pepper, some citrus in there as well. We have some iris and jasmine. We have patchouli, vetiver, amber, and some white musk. This is like one of my go-to fragrances. If I'm going to an event and I don't know what to expect, so you don't know what the crowd is like, you're meeting new people, there's a bit of networking going on, um, but you want to come across confident and you want to smell like luxury at the same time without being too much in the person's face, <laughs> then and this is a fragrance I would wear. This is very elegant as well. And it has beautiful, beautiful fragrance. It lasts on the skin for such a long time. And you do get a lot of jasmine and amber in here. It's a wonderful fragrance. So this is one of my most luxurious smelling fragrances by Chanel. So the next fragrance I have for you is my Maison Francis Coque de Jeanne. And this is my Grand Soir. Now, Grand Soir is a fragrance that's going to light up any room. This perfume is gorgeous. This, okay, this just smells expensive. It smells like money. It smells like you paid 15 grand for your handbag. It smells like you just had a manicure. It smells like you had champagne for breakfast. Like, honestly, this is amazing. <laughs> oh, it's just gorgeous. It's very rich intense vanilla scent. Um, I'll go through the notes for you. So in this perfume we have some vanilla and amber, we have some tonka bean and we have some um, labandum. So this fragrance is very bold, very rich. Um, I thought would suit a man better because it's quite intense and rich but it has a sweetness to it. It's um, You've got the vanilla and the amber in there but to me this just smells like a very handsome man <laughs> and um, but now I've gotten used to the fragrance it smells a bit more feminine and soft um, the warm vanilla is quite creamy but spicy there's a spicy woody note to this as well and this perfume I would match this with you're going somewhere that's extremely fancy very very fancy you're going to be in a crowded space because this is very powerful a little spray goes a long way and plus you do get the sillage in this perfume and then also the longevity is amazing this will last on your skin up until the next day you're going to smell it in your clothes and your hair <laughs> so um, this is gorgeous this is my grand soir so talking about intensity my next fragrance I feel is so intense it's rich in vanilla and this perfume is my Christian Dior addict now this fragrance is a perfume that when I first smelt this fragrance I fell in love with it immediately. It just smelled very classy. It smelled sophisticated and rich. It's a bit um, deep and dark. It's that sort of fragrance, it smells like a woman's fragrance. We've got vanilla in here, we've got some tonka bean. Um, we have a bit of jasmine. We have orange blossom and mandarin leaf. And it has a spicy note to it. It's a little bit spicy. I'm surprised there's no clove or cinnamon in this fragrance. I mean, there may be some, um, but I do detect some spice in this fragrance. It's very warming. This perfume I would wear strictly around the Christmas period, um, during the holidays, very, very oriental and spicy. 
but it's very pleasant sophisticated it is so sexy and and deep and dark and rich and a little bit mysterious but bold this makes a statement oh my goodness now this fragrance is a perfume i would wear if i'm going to an event or if i'm going out for a dinner if it's a special occasion a memorable occasion such as an anniversary um, a wedding um, date nights romantic date nights um, I think you could wear this to any event really and any occasion but this makes such a statement it's just such a beautiful fragrance and everyone loves this perfume it's just beautiful it's it's sweet and rich it's got the sugary note to it as well and it is a my Maison Francis Kirk Dijon and this is my Baccarat Rouge 540 and this fragrance is just wonderful you wear this perfume and this is lasting on your skin for the longest time. like I've just honestly my darlings guys I've just taken the lid off and immediately this whole room this whole area smells of the fragrance. I haven't sprayed anything. Honestly, it's amazing. I've just taken off this lid and it just smells like, it smells rich, expensive, classy, elegant. It smells like you know what you're doing. You're sure of yourself. You're confident. It's bold. It's, and it's beautiful. I think if anything, it's a beautiful fragrance. This perfume will suit everyone. It suits any age and it suits every personality. This perfume is such a winner. I think this is more for the 25 plus, I would say, perhaps, but you know, it's all down to your preference. But this smells like luxury, luxury in the bottle. We have jasmine, we have saffron, we have ambergris. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's a wonderful fragrance. So that's my MFK. Now the next fragrance I have that smells like total luxury is my Pen Halligan's Lothair. This fragrance is a winner. Again, it's got this freshness to it. It smells bold. I feel like this perfume is fairly unique. Um, this is the EDT version. And it has this gorgeous, creamy, rich note to it. This perfume is mixed with ambergris. We have some fig milk in here, some fig leaves. We have some cardamom, we have bergamot, we've got some red berries. There is a freshness to this fragrance as well. I feel like this perfume would suit both genders. I, when I first, again, with this fragrance, when I first tried it, I felt like this was strictly a woman's fragrance. It just, it matched my skin so well. And then later on, as the scent developed like weeks after purchasing this I felt like this was more of a masculine fragrance and now I'm sort of like on the fence I feel like it can suit both genders um, but it has this element that would suit a man I can see like the masculine appeal in this perfume as well as the feminine appeal I mean you can wear this in the day in the evenings it's quite refreshing it's light i'll go through a few more notes with you we've got some grapefruit fig leaf cardamom fig milk lavender black tea we've got vanilla and we've got cedarwood and ambergris and i think i'm attracted to the ambergris <laughs> that's like one of my another one of my favorite notes this is just a lovely um fragrance as well quite special this is more of a special fragrance I would have left this fragrance till last to define smelling expensive, smelling classic, elegant, rich and bold and that would be my Chanel number no. 5 but I wanted to share it with you now. This is my Eau de Parfum and this perfume, I have worn it <laughs> um, and you know this is a few years old now um, but you can see there's a tiny little um, you know dents going through it there this is an iconic chanel fragrance everyone knows when you're wearing chanel number no. five and like i said it's bold in my teens this isn't a fragrance i would have considered at all but i do appreciate the notes of this fragrance i do enjoy that classic scent it's sort of vintage it smells bold and rich uh, and i do feel like people know 
you mean business when you're wearing this fragrance people will take you seriously whenever you wear this if you own this people take you seriously so <laughs> this is a wonderful iconic fragrance by Chanel um, you know rich in you know the aldehydes the creamy musk note it's it's a beautiful fragrance and um, very warming as well something I would wear during the evenings if I was going to like a formal occasion I'd wear something like this I must say it's not a fragrance I wear very often but I do wear this in the evenings this can be like my cozy um, bedtime scent as well because it's quite soothing and warm um, and I find also with the aldehydes in here it's got that musky cloud type scent so it's something I like to wear to bed um, or in the late evenings so that's my Chanel number five um, some of the notes in here that we have we have neroli and lang lang we have some aldehyde we have some sandalwood we have patchouli we have bourbon vanilla um, I do love the color of this it just looks like a cognac it looks like a nice rich like whiskey or brandy the color is stunning it's a beautiful color talking about smelling expensive and smelling rich and exclusive and confident and this fragrance I have is all of that plus more and it's very feminine and this is my tenue de soiree and this is by Goutal and this gorgeous perfume is exactly that it is your evening dress it's a night out it's something glamorous you're making a statement all eyes are on you that's this perfume there's a sweetness to this and even from the bottle it just looks extra and pricey you know and it's just so cute i love the sound that it makes it's just a pretty bottle and the pom-pom is so cute um this lovely fragrance when I first smelt this, it was just gorgeous. <laughs> I bought this in Paris and um, I went to the Goutal store in the heart of Paris and I fell in love. It's a tiny boutique actually, quite small boutique. And they just had this on show and I said, oh my gosh, and it looks beautiful. And I could just, you know, picture this on my dresser. This is a wonderful fragrance for like, you know going out and you're going to maybe to a charity event or you're going to the theater um or you know classy dinner classy event this is something you wear with a gown this is definitely like gown appropriate um so we have in this perfume we've got red fruits we've got some iris patchouli musk leather and this just reminds me of the autumn and and the winter it's just you know such a gorgeous evening scent now this perfume was featured in my top autumn perfumes so make sure you check out that video i'm going to leave a link below for you um and i've just gone through all the wonderful fragrances for the autumn period and this is just autumn it's just give it a try if you guys have tried this let me know what your thoughts are on this are you loving this or is it like something you need to think about i'd love to know we're talking about luxury here okay the next fragrance the bottle looks like luxury it looks like gold it smells like gold even on your skin it feels like gold it's smooth and rich this is my christian dior's j'adore l'or now this gorgeous bottle is just so pretty very very pretty bottle here and the contents inside it's a mixture of rose jasmine vanilla tonka bean and this fragrance just smells like gold it feels like gold it's got that smooth silky um sensation on the skin and just looking at this golden juice this golden nectar you can just tell it's expensive it smells feminine and elegant it's one of my favorite perfumes now this is like an oriental rose fragrance and this perfume has some rose petals and jasmine like i said before uh, but i find it very warming it's not not spicy warming but it's like a nice floral warm scent again this is a fragrance that is perfect for the autumn and it just smells expensive it's very elegant to wear great perfume for the evenings so the next fragrance i have for you is something that's rich and bold a little bit spicy this is my coco mademoiselle intense 
and this gorgeous fragrance by Chanel is a fragrance I love to wear in the evenings it's quite playful and and intense um, a bit sparkly as well there's a richness to this in terms of the layers of the fragrance there's so many layers in this perfume um, I'm going to read the notes for you. So we have patchouli, we have amber accord, we have vanilla and we have some tonka bean. And there is a freshness to this perfume. We've got some citrus in here. It's very playful, very elegant, it's very bold. It's a beautiful fragrance to wear. Um, you know, it's, it's a gorgeous fragrance. This is something I would wear going out for cocktails with my friends, going out for fancy dinners. Um, this is beautiful. The next perfume I have for you, I'm so excited to share it because this fragrance is one of my favorite blends. Oh, I love this perfume so much. <laughs> and this is my Tom Ford and this is my Noir de Noir. This perfume is beautiful and I'm surprised because, okay, when I bought this perfume, I was like, I need 100 mil. There's no way 50 mil is going to last me. But because I have so many fragrances, I said, okay, I'm going to try. And I bought a smaller bottle. And to be honest with you, this has lasted. I mean, we're barely below this mark here. And I've worn this so many times. Um, but I have to say that this fragrance I would wear mainly... Um, in the cooler months, I would wear this autumn to the winter time, and um, this fragrance I would spray maybe three sprays, perhaps three or more. Um, it's a gorgeous a fragrance, beautiful. It's rich. It's it's deep. It's dark. It's a bit creamy at the same time. You've got florals in here that are that's very rich and it's very deep sexy dark it's gorgeous this fragrance has black truffle vanilla tr patchouli oud wood and tree moss i feel like you do get the vanilla more on the dry down you do get the oud and i feel like there's some rose in here as well there are some florals in here um, but this is such a wonderful deep fragrance noir de noir is a perfect perfume for both females and male i I would this is feminine and it smells very classy it makes this one makes such a statement it's like beast mode this one it's beautiful now to end the video the last perfume I have I feel like this is the only fragrance I could use to end this video and this perfume is my Maison Francis Cote de Jean and this is Oud Satin Mood now this perfume is luxury in a dark bottle with a gold lid on okay this is luxury it smells expensive it is feminine it is rich it is bold it is elegant and wow it's just such a powerful powerful fragrance i love this so we have violet in this perfume we have two types of rose in here um we have some oud and some vanillas in here as well it's just beautiful the vanilla the amber the creaminess it's a sweet oud and it just smells beautiful it reminds me of a certain part of london that just the whole street smells of this fragrance um it's just gorgeous i love this perfume um, great for date nights as well if your partner likes oud <laughs> but there's a sweetness to this fragrance that i adore so that's my oud satin mood so my darlings thank you so much for watching today's video so i wanted to show you all the fragrances within my collection that smells like luxury that can make you smell so expensive some of these perfumes i've shown you are quite pricey um, but with that being said, I feel like you don't need to use a lot of the fragrance that this is going to last you a very long time. I mean, a lot of the perfumes here, I would recommend buying a 30 ml to a 50 ml bottle um, because you don't need a lot of the fragrance um, for it to perform well. And these perfumes are ideal for the new season. Right now we're heading into autumn and the perfumes I've shown you just perform so much better on cooler skin and during the cooler periods. But these are such elegant, rich, dark formulas. 
dark perfumes, beautiful fragrances. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your thoughts were on this video. If you have any ideas or any requests, let me know. Leave a message down below in the comment section. Thanks. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is in good spirits and is slowly venturing out there and getting fresh air, you know, uplifting their mood in whichever method you can. Um, but whilst doing that, make sure you are definitely staying safe and keeping aware of what's going on. Um, I wish you all well and thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.